I think it'll be kind of nice. I like the hot mess uh, that I got going on in here. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a nice overcast, cool, fall-like day. I'm gonna get out in the garden, actually all over the place. You're gonna check eggs? There's eggs in there. Okay, it's probably time to check eggs. Corbin grabbed the shop vac for me and is cleaning up a mess. I guess I'll just explain that real quick. Okay, don't leave the door open. The chickens will escape. Why don't you grab the eggs? In here in the shed where we keep the feed, I have a rat problem. Single rat, like I've seen it on numerous occasions, it's quite large. Uh, it's so big, in fact, that the cats just look at it and maybe give a head nod. I cannot catch this thing. It defeats my traps. Uh, it just, it doesn't care. Uh, it's so big. Yeah, it's a massive, massive rat. Well, it likes to tear open feed bags and just spill feed everywhere. So, it's getting to the point I'm actually going to have to sit out here with like, like a pew pew and wait until it comes out and pick it off because it's so smart, it knows how to avoid all the traps. So, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Corbin is vacuuming up the feed that is behind the freezer in there because it ripped open a bag closest to the, like behind the freezer and just pulled all that feed down there all around the freezer and I don't want it to mess up the freezer or anything. So yeah, fun stuff. So what I'm doing first thing this morning, these are all of our walking onions that we harvested this year. Honestly, I've just forgot about them. I've needed to stick them in the ground and let them grow, but I've just, I forgot about it. So, uh, I have packaged up a lot of these for our friends, various people who have interest in getting some walking onions. Um, and then the rest, I'm just gonna take them and we're gonna multiply our onions. I'm gonna stick some out here in the greenhouse because it's really, really nice to have green onions, like onion greens, over the winter. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see if I can get them to grow in here over the winter. We more or less, for the most part, last winter had green onions all winter long, except for the very coldest parts of the year. When it freezes real bad, the onion tops die back, and then as soon as it warms up a little bit, they poke right back out of the soil and keep on growing like nothing ever happened. I probably have several hundred little bulbs in here. Some of these, are around that size. You know, I'd say that's probably like a one inch bulb. Some of them are smaller, like uh, I'd say that's like a half inch bulb. And then some of them are even smaller, that's like a quarter inch bulb. Every single one of these will grow into a whole onion plant. Uh, these ones are the hard ones to uh, catch because those little ones, uh, the way a walking onion grows is you start from the bulb it sends up a shoot. Once it gets big enough, the top of that shoot forms bulbs. Uh, basically, it'll form, comes in two stages. This one still has part of the stalk on it. So that little part right there, that'll be at the top of the stalk, and it grows these bulbs, and like, they're hard, like it's an onion bulb. Then, out the top of that, it'll grow another stalk, and at the top of that, it will have these, the little bitty guys. Well, then after it starts drying out, it gets real, real tall and everything falls down and all of, all of those and all the little ones will root, thereby starting new onions. Uh, that's where they get the term walking. They stand up, they fall over, they stand up, they fall over, and they end up escaping. There's actually several places around the US where walking onions like that are illegal because they consider them invasive. I am not worried about them getting out here because we will use them. The walking onions don't think of them as a, uh, like a onion bulb to eat. You eat the greens, not the bulb. If you eat the bulb, that's not a very big bulb. I mean, they can get, I think I've got some that are, you know, maybe like, you know, that big, something like that. I'm gonna grab a digging device and I'm gonna get over here and plant some of these bulbs. So you just take these apart, take the bulbs off the cluster, and then even though they don't have roots right now, well, that one's starting to. See that little bitty root right there? And then some of them, like they're even trying to sprout, just sitting in there in the kitchen. These things are shockingly resilient. Yeah, that one's got a 
big long root. Honestly, this is the right plant for me because these walking onions thrive on neglect. I'm just gonna litter these everywhere. I think it'll be kind of nice. I like the hot mess uh, that I got going on in here. Like there's some some order to it, but then not really. Like I, I kind of like, I like the jungle that my gardens are. Oh yeah, this is so soft in here. I don't have to. I don't have to dig anything. Stick them at the end of these rows and in the walkways. I guess I need Buggy in here to tell them to grow. They're not going to know what to do. Alright, that's it for this spot. I'm going to grab a handful of them and I'm actually going to plant them in the walkways of these beds. This is such a small space right here where all this cabbage and stuff is. I'm gonna go in between like these four right here. I'm gonna go smack dab in the middle right there. And just do that all the way down. I've got more than enough uh, onion bulbs to start this. So I'm just gonna do that. That's right. Those ones are growing. Okay, that's all I'm planting in here. All right, that's about all I'm sticking in here. Uh, because I have so many bulbs that I need planted, I'm just gonna stick them everywhere. Uh, I've got this little, I guess it's a flower bed right here with this uh, Japanese maple. I just kind of stick whatever in it. This was a volunteer sugar rush peach that came up, which I'm pretty pretty jazzed about that, that a pepper came up voluntarily. This is just like a hot mess. I got strawberries, I got some comfrey. Uh, I just let flowers just seed themselves and come up. I'm just gonna throw some onions in here, let them do their thing. Kind of the way I feel is if they grow, cool. If not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's grab this box and we're gonna head out to the orchard and I'm gonna plant some of these onions out there in the, uh, the food forest. <laughs> out here in the orchard, I think it's onions, allium in general, that can work as deer repellent. Um, we haven't had a real big problem with deer, but they are here. They have nibbled. Oddly enough, they eat my nitrogen fixers. I've planted some mimosas out here and the deer love them. They don't really touch my uh, my fruit and nut trees that are out here. They just eat the nitrogen fixers. It's fine, like I don't even mind. It's like, oh, well I was gonna chop that thing to the ground and do a chop and drop anyways, so I guess we just eliminated a step. Let me grab my onions and I'm just gonna throw, I don't know, three or four of them around each tree. Oh yeah, look at all those ants. There's one, there's two, All right, made it down to the end of this row. I think we're gonna have to have a couple days where we come out here and do some serious weeding. And I'm gonna have to get wood chips or compost or something to put down. I think what the easy thing to do would be to come in with some shovels, clean off all of the old wood chips that are on top, put down cardboard, put everything back at new wood chips, compost, what have you. We are losing, <laughs> I would say we have lost the battle against the uh, the grass, the uh, crabgrass, Bermuda grass. It is so thick in the wood chips. It's just grown through all the wood chips. Uh, it's just a solid mat. I think insult to injury is the Bermuda grass grew through the wood chips and then died. So now it's just a big mat with dead grass, which, you know, the only good Bermuda grass is dead Bermuda grass in my opinion, but. 
it doesn't even look like I put a dent in all of those onions. I still have a bunch more. So uh, there was some other places that I wanted to stick some, so I'll probably go do do that. We get to pick up where we left off yesterday. Yes. Yesterday we prepped a whole bunch of peppers and then ran out of time. Yeah, I and dinner. didn't get back to it. Yeah. So we are gonna go grab our peppers out of the fridge. They're in the back fridge. And we're gonna make hot sauce. Yes. Last last hot sauce of the season. I hope so. I'm ready to be done. <laughs> okay. So we really like the kachuchas. We like the flavor of them. Mm -hmm. And we were talking yesterday. It's like, it would be kind of nice to wonder what cowboy candy would be like with kachuchas yeah. instead of jalapenos. Yeah. So we're going to try them. It yeah. won't be very spicy. It won't. So I might throw in a jalapeno or two. Get that spice up. Yeah. But, uh, It'd be worth a shot. I bet you it's good. I yeah, I think it will be. Have that real fruity floral. Mm -hmm. It'd be like making cowboy candy out of habaneros. Ooh, but not deadly. But not <laughs> hot. Yeah, yeah. All right, so onions. I guess I'll chop some onions. Yep, and uh, we're gonna double this, right? Uh, I guess, because that's a lot of peppers. That's a lot of peppers. So we'll need eight cups of chopped onions. Okay, I'll get on it. Okay. Thanks, Leonard. <laughs> Gave me these because they were rejects. They, they have not been a reject in our house. They have not been rejected here. We like them. How many cups are we going for? All together, eight. Eight Double. cups. Yeah. How how much do you think? Um, All these onions? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cups of kachuchas. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just dice. throw them in there. Yeah. Dice them and then measure them out. Yeah. Okay, I can do that too. Four. I'm just taking the stems off. I got the spice. Put some ripe jalapenos in there. And now more kachuchas. Here is my 12 cups of pepper. There you go. I can see some of the jalapenos still in there. <laughs> I think we need a bigger pot. Oh, really? Yeah. We've doubled this before. It'll probably... Uh, no, because we need like 20... Yeah, we have a lot of tomatoes we got to add. Okay, well, let's get through the tomatoes and see where we're at. Okay. You want me to do the same thing? Chop up the tomatoes? Yeah, so we're going to need 20 cups of tomatoes. Think we can get 20 cups out of... No, not. we'll need more than that. Okay. Just made tomato smoothie. <laughs> All right, I need one more, one more load of tomatoes for the food processor. Four more cups. So I'm gonna head out to the greenhouse and hopefully I can get enough tomatoes. <laughs> All right, I'm actually kind of glad we have not ripped out all of the tomatoes yet because there's actually a lot in here. I noticed that all of a sudden stuff that has been on the vine is just starting to drop faster than we can pick it. So I'm gonna get in here. Oh yeah, for sure, I can pick enough for what I need. It's kind of sad looking, but there's tomatoes. Ooh, tommy toes, I think those are the crowd favorite this year. These tommy toes have been so good. Dive bombs by tomatoes. That's more than enough. That's all I'm gonna pick. I'm not gonna go over there and pick the rest. We can come get the rest later. But yeah, it's kind of, it's like sad. It's, it's bittersweet, it's bittersweet. It's like, oh, there's no more tomatoes until next year. And we have to decide how we're gonna do tomatoes next year. Are we gonna do them the same way? Are we gonna grow them different? Uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. That's the fun and the joy of gardening.
Hey, this is kind of like my hot sauce, it isn't is it? It is your hot sauce. I don't think it's going to be spicy enough, so I'll probably have to blend up some more okay. peppers. And then this is the cowboy candy. Yep, I got four pints out of it. Nice. I hope it's good. I hope it is too. I I'm, think it will be. I mean, four pints, that's the the size of if it's terrible. It's too much. It, it's too much. And then if it's really good, then it's just four pints. <laughs> right? It's definitely not enough. That's usually how it goes. The best things, the experimental things that wind up being the best, yeah. you never have enough of. Yeah. And then, like, the next year is a bad kachucha year and you can't make it again. Well, it was like last year. We put up what kachucha hot sauce we wanted. I was like, yeah, I don't know if we're going to eat this. Yeah. And then we're rationing the last few jars. In fact, I wouldn't let anybody eat. He any... would not. I was like, hold on. My parents are coming to visit. I want them to taste it. And <laughs> sure enough, in one, like, one sitting, we all piled up around the island and we killed an entire jar in one, like, in 20 minutes. Yep. Got all kinds of goodies in there. All the peppers are all at the bottom. Yep. All right, having sandwiches for dinner. Yep. Nothing crazy. Hot ham sammies. And I'm gonna get over here and give this a good old taste test now that it's cooked down a fair amount. And it still resembles the ingredients as they went in. But, man, it does smell good. Honestly, it kind of smells like spaghetti sauce. Really? In a weird kachucha sort of way. Yeah. These are my favorite tortilla chips. Honestly, they taste like like restaurant chips. I think that's why I like them. Not even remotely spicy. Not even remotely. That's a bummer. I'm gonna go get some small little red berries. You want to do the small little red berries? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll walk out and demonstrate what small little red berries he's talking about. So, uh, Adrian, if you're watching, these are the little red berry plants that you gave us. So this right here, I'm not sure what kind of pepper it is. Um, it's a small berry pepper, itty bitty little things, and they are miserable oh. hot. They are so stinking hot. I'm sure if I did some digging, I could probably figure out what kind of peppers these are, but just looks like a itty bitty little berry. And they are, <laughs> they are mighty spicy. Mighty spicy. Me and Brett, if, we, uh, if we're eating something that we wanna add some spice to, they're so small, but they're so spicy. You just pop one of these in your mouth and you almost lose it, they're so small. Uh, but you, you crunch into that thing and you're made aware that you ate something very spicy. It's like a whole jalapeno into one little... Uh, hotter, it's like eating maybe like a serrano, something that's got some yeah. good heat to it, but in, you know, less than a pea. Like, that's tiny. Get me like just a five, six of them. That one too, that one's pretty done. That's what we're gonna add. I bet you that is more than enough. Just give it a good stir and then we'll let it cook for a little bit. Kind of mellow this peppers in there and we'll see if it worked or if I need to go get a red savino to throw in there. You weren't lying about hot ham sandwiches. Those, those are going to be all melty and delicious. Yeah. So I did a... I made these years and years ago. Yeah, it was a really long, long time, time ago. ago. Um, so you take mayonnaise and some soft butter and you mix it with a little bit of mustard and then like a bunch of minced onion, dried minced onion. And you spread that on the bread and then ham and Swiss, and then you wrap them up and bake them until they're hot and the cheese is all gooey and mm. stuff, and it's so good. I remember these. We haven't had these in like a decade. It's been a long time. This stuff has been boiling, cooking down. Uh, we'll see if the heat level has come up or if I need to go get a red savina and throw that in. The heat level is coming up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not been approved yet. Why don't you taste some of this? Yeah, you're not detecting anything either? I mean, there's like a subtle heat. Yeah, on the back end, that might catch up to you, but I mean, yeah, I can, I can taste it. It's there. I'm gonna go get a red Savina. Okay. Oh, spicing him. Stir this in, give it another 
another uh, weight. <clears throat> All right, that did the trick. Did it good. Yep. It's got a nice heat to it now. Good. I'm happy with that heat level. Good. It's got a good heat. It's not like obnoxious. It's just like, like you could eat like 10 or 12 chips and just be like on fire. Like it's perfect. I think you're good. Oh, that looks good. quite creamy. It does. It looks great. That's pretty. It is pretty. That's those cachuchas. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like add some Italian seasoning to that and you could put, use that as a spaghetti sauce. That would be good. Like all you'd have to do is add some like yeah. basil, oregano, and parsley and stuff like that. Italian seasoning. Yeah. And that would be like a super spicy marinara sauce. That'd be really good actually. Okay, if we run out of spaghetti sauces here, we might do that. I am gonna say too, I've had a lot of people ask about where to get the seeds. We had originally had somebody at Home Centers of America hand us a baggie of, of peppers, of the actual peppers, and we ate them on the way home, and we were like, these are so amazing. And we saved all the seeds, and I mean, we knew the name was Kachucha, but I've looked them up and looked them up, I couldn't find mm -hmm. them. This year, Johnny's Select Seeds has the peppers, they call them Mad Hatter. I'll get the link and I'll put it below um, for anybody who wants the kachucha seeds. We're not really going to save and sell seeds right now because we don't practice safe, yeah. safe uh, if, if we, uh, breeding practices. If we save seeds from these peppers, they're going to be cross-pollinated with every other yeah. pepper in the garden. And for us, we're okay with that, but like, I can't get you a true kachucha seed necessarily. So yeah. I will I will post it because I saw Johnny's has it. Yeah. It's like sweet. Now I can send it to people. We do actually have some of those original seeds we saved mm -hmm. from the kachuchas that uh, that person had given us. Uh -huh. And those are what we've planted every year. Probably, probably next year we're gonna have to grow just exclusively kachuchas. That way, you know, we can save right. true seed from those. Or, you know, I suppose we could we can net off and put some bug net on yeah, uh, a particular plant and just you know do it that way. I'll just send you guys a link for <laughs> buying your own. It sure is pretty. It is pretty. I like it going in here. Yeah, there you go. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Barely. There we go. Okay. Okay. And dinner is dinner coming is out of. Really. Can you move the toys off the. To yeah, T Rex needs to move. Ham sandwich with gooey Swiss. Gooey Swiss. All right. I guess we can clear off the table okay. and eat. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Oh. All right. Sandwiches were a hit. Yeah. It's really good. Quick and easy. All right, I guess we'll get the rest of this canned up. Yep. And, uh, I mean, yeah. what's the hurry, right? <laughs> it's just I'm do its thing for 15 minutes and then I do it again until there's no more sauce left. <laughs> uh, it is like a load off to, like, achieve that goal. Yes. Of let's get, you know, a dozen jars or more. Yeah. What'd you get? Eight, so we're going to do 16? That's nine. Nine, so 18 yeah, jars probably. At least. Yeah, probably. Maybe it's a good feeling. Yeah. And then these I'm curious for. Those are still pretty, pretty hot, still yeah. pretty hot. Cowboy candy. But kachucha. But made out of kachucha. I did put a few jalapenos in there. I see that. You got to get that heat up a little bit. We'll see. They yeah. might be good. They might not be. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee you they're going to be pretty good. I think they will. All right. We're going to wrap it up right here. All right. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Is there a tiny, tiny spider? Is that what that is? Probably. It's probably living in the... Living in the, the, the dead cat up, yeah. up top. <laughs>